In this video, we are going to attempt to prove that the altitudes of a triangle are concurrent. Let's review some terminology, just in case you don't know it, or you're new to it, or you, it has been a while and you've just forgotten it. Let me draw a triangle, let me draw a more acute triangle actually, for the sake of this video. And let me draw some altitudes. Altitudes are the line segments starting at, one, starting at the vertex of a triangle, and perpendicular to the opposite side. So this thing is an altitude. Let me draw another altitude. So starting at this vertex, it has to be perpendicular or 90 degrees to the opposite side. So that's another altitude. And let me draw another one. So one that goes like this, perpendicular to this side. And you look at this and you say, ah, they look like they are intersecting at the same point. And if they do, if all three lines intersect at the same point, you say they are concurrent. And you may say, do they have to be concurrent? If we draw lines like this, they are not concurrent. They do not meet at the same point. But when you draw lines like this, then yes, they do meet at the common point. So you may say two altitudes of a triangle have to be concurrent. And if they do, uh, is it for every single case? Are there some exceptions? And it turns out the answer is yes. They are concurrent for every single possible triangle that you can draw. Non-degenerate triangle, that is. So we are going to attempt to prove this. So let's, in, in this video, I'm going to prove it for acute and right triangle. I think I'm going to make a separate video proving it for obtuse triangle. And how I'm going to prove it, I'm going to prove it using Siva's theorem because analytic geometry is going to be tough, it's going to be, it's going to be too solid, it's going to be very rough, and I, I'm not sure if using coordinates is what I want to do. So I'm going to use Siva's theorem just because it's more, it's more beautiful, it's more elegant. And if you do not know what Siva's theorem is, you're more than fine. You can click this eye, there should be something like eye popping up around here. You can click it to go to my video that introduces Siva's theorem. And let's say you've seen the video and came back, or you already knew Siva's theorem to begin with. So let's get started proving that altitudes of a triangle are concurrent. And let me draw some angles. Let's say this, this thing is alpha, this thing is beta, and this thing is gamma. And I'm going to I'm going to first prove it for the case of acute triangle. So you know this triangle is acute and all of the altitudes are going to stay inside the triangle. If the triangle is obtuse, drawing altitude from this side is going to be something like this. You're going to have to extend the side and the altitude is going to be right right this. So it's outside the triangle. But in the case of acute triangle, all the altitudes are inside. So we don't have to worry about the craziness for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to label the sides too. So let's call this side as X, call this side as Y, call this side to be Z. And now let's label some things. Let's label some partitions. Um, this length, this length is equal to Z times cosine of alpha, because you look at this triangle, you look at this triangle, the hypotenuse is Z, the adjacent angle is alpha, so it turns out to be Z cosine of alpha. For this length, for this length, looking at this triangle, looking at this triangle, you get Y times cosine of beta, so Y times cosine of beta for this length. What about this length? What do we get for that? Looking at this triangle, you get, you get X cosine of beta, x cosine of beta, and you can keep on going. This length is going to be, this length is going to be z cosine of gamma. Uh, this length is going to be uh, y cosine of gamma. And this length is going to be x cosine of alpha. And now let's apply Siva's theorem. Siva's theorem tells you to start at one point, and we're going to go around the triangle clockwise or counterclockwise, pick a direction, and you're going to come up with some ratios and multiply them. You're going to start with x cosine beta, going this way. You start with x cosine beta, you divide it by the next thing you encounter, z cosine of gamma, and you multiply it by the ratio going around this side, y cosine gamma, divided by x cosine alpha, times going in this side, you get z cosine of alpha over y cosine of beta. And what happens? These cancel out, cosine of alpha cancel out, cosine of gamma cancel out, y cancel out, z cancel out, x cancel out. So this thing is equal to one. And Siva's theorem tells you that if this ratio is equal to one, 
the Syrians, in this case altitudes, of a triangle are concurrent, so we are done. So now let's prove Siva's theorem for right triangle. We just proved it for acute triangle, now let's prove it for right triangle. And now let's look at this. Altitude starting at this point is this, right this. So this one of the sides of a triangle turns out to be the altitude. So this is the first altitude. Altitude from this point turns out to be this side. So you have them intersecting right here. So if we can show that the altitude, altitude from this point is passes through this point, then we are done. And it turns out altitude starts at the vertex, so it is going to pass through. So all three altitudes are concurrent, so they intersect at the same point. So we have proven Siva's theorem for acute triangle and right triangle.